We're having a look at resistors and series in parallel, which is one of your formal assessments. And by now the learners should have had a chance to experiment and to learn about how to set up a voltmeter and an ammeter and uh, about series and parallel circuits. Now, when they set up their series circuit to start off with, I, help, I find that it's helpful to have the circuit set up in a similar way to how their circuit is drawn, so that visually they can conceptualize uh, the layout. Then with the voltmeter, they'll need to remember to keep the polarity correct, and then when they're measuring the terminal potential difference, to, to set it up in parallel over the cells. And then with each of the resistors, that they need to set it up in parallel over those resistors. Again, keeping the polarity correct. So for example, with the first resistor here, I can set it up and connect the switch, and then take a reading. Now they'll also be practicing taking down their readings, which they then use in your discussion about how series and parallel works. Then the following resistor, following resistor, remembering to turn the switch on each time to take that reading and taking down their readings. They should also have taken down what the terminal potential difference is over the cells. Then when they're taking their current readings, um, again, we're not going to do that in parallel, but rather in series. So we actually have to break the circuit where we are taking that reading. So for example here, and again, keeping the polarity correct. So if I remove that lead, then positive to positive, and then negative to this part of the circuit, which is connected more to, closer to the negative terminal. And then we turn it on and we can get a reading. And if that reading is uh, too low, then they can change uh, which of the terminals they're connecting to. Then same thing over here, except we're going to have to break the circuit next to each of these resistors in order to get the reading. So I'll have to break the circuit there, connect it up again, keeping the polarity correct, and reconnect this part of the circuit here, and then turn it on and take the reading. I'm going to get it stronger reading here, so I can actually get, uh, actually see a bit more of that um, uh, needle movement and actually get a more accurate reading. Then, taking it for the following resistor, I'm going to have to break the circuit there. And take my reading and write it down, and so on, so forth. Then when they set up their parallel circuit, Again, it helps to keep the, the resistors in order and to mark down. They can even write on these whiteboards with a whiteboard marker and then clean that off afterwards just so that they, they don't take down the wrong reading. All you have to do is pop them off set them up in parallel So we set it up in parallel, make sure that it's in a similar pattern to the circuit diagram, and then again we use a voltmeter and ammeter. We'll start off taking the terminal potential difference, the voltmeter in parallel to those cells, and then uh, taking it in parallel over each of these resistors. I'll quickly illustrate that to you. Again, keeping the polarity correct, and I'll need to connect it here and then turn that switch on. Then connect it, turn the switch on, take down my reading. And they'll be having to take those readings down, practice doing that, again, to interpret their findings, take it down. 
Right, and then with the ammeter, just to briefly show you, in a parallel circuit, again I'll have to break the circuit. So I can break it here for the entire circuit, and then for each of these resistors, I can simply break the circuit next to that. Particular resistor and again keeping the polarity correct. Take my readings for each of those resistors. And there you have it. How to set this up for the series in parallel activity. The important thing though in this activity is to get accurate readings in the tables. And they can do this a few times until they are comfortable with their readings. And then once they've done that, to then interpret those readings in terms of which one is a current divider or a voltage divider, whether um, the current is going to be stronger or weaker in a series or parallel circuit. And then as a class, you can also discuss that. I hope you enjoy discovering more with these.